guys welcome back to another video welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is d don't forget to like comment subscribe to my channel you guys help a girl get to 1k i'm on the road to get 1k and i'm trying to be consistent with this content you guys as you can tell by the title of the video we're gonna do a three month tummy tuck update if you had surgery or thinking about having surgery for a tummy tuck this is gonna be the video so if you're interested stay tuned okay so first thing first y'all excuse my bed um it's literally early in the morning actually by the time you see this video it's going to be mm, it's going to be three months so i don't know exactly when i'm going to post the video but um anyway so it's early in the morning i went to the gym so i was like um let me go ahead and like do my three month tummy tuck update because i still kind of get questions so let me just run down the timeline you guys if you see me talk with my hands i talk with my hands anyway so i had a bbl two years ago i had my breast did it would be two years this year in november and i had a tummy tuck three months ago yes i went to miami for all my surgeries um if you're interested in those videos i got a bbl review i got my breast documentation with cg review on my channel and i have some tummy tuck videos so you guys go check those videos out make sure y'all subscribe to my channel because i pretty much give you like the real deal like i tell you the stuff after the coordinators don't tell you and i'm here to give you like ongoing tips for recovery so i'm going to insert a picture so you can see how i look before before my tummy tuck so i had three kids my stomach was out of stretch and i was just like i know he can't work a miracle but i do want to be able to wear cute things and still like i'm still young so i'm just like i want to be able to still have my body back so um yeah so i had my tummy tuck i went to dr stefan beyond and beauty um i don't know i think they changed their name but you know so much has changed in miami you guys so i'm just gonna talk about my experience how it went for me and um how that went so you see mine before i'm gonna just go ahead and let you guys see what i look like now and then we're gonna get into the details okay okay you guys so i just want to show you my three months now as you can tell um stomach is flat um my incision it's pretty flat um i can show you i'm on my bed you guys so excuse me i can i've been wearing my faja like i'm starting to get dark okay you guys so i have this bodysuit on um i just want to show y'all what i look like with no waist trainer no faja nothing and as you can see my stomach is flat it's still a little bit budging right here but that's because i need to be in some type of waist trainer whatever so yeah so now that you've seen what i look like with a bodysuit on y'all you can just only imagine what i'm gonna look like from a year from now so let's okay you guys um um if i didn't tell y'all i got this um pajama set this is from target so if i did not tell y'all i don't think i'm gonna be able to find the link because this is from last year but um yes so as y'all can just see that how i looked in a bodysuit that was my main thing because i like to wear bodysuit tops and like full jumpsuits that was my main thing i want my stomach to look flat it didn't it didn't do it's just gonna take some more work because you gotta protect your investment about really working out for me i'm gonna say that and one thing like i've said previously before that's really gonna help you girls is gonna be the aftercare that pineapple juice and compressing because i'm gonna tell you this i thought last month that i was okay to go without wearing a waist trainer or whatever like that but sometimes when i was sick my stomach would like buffle up like it was like a bubble and then let me know it's still healing so therefore i was just like mm, i need to be wearing my vaha or my waist trainer y'all as y'all can tell like i've been wearing that waist trainer so much like it's starting to like dark and like not burn me but you know like pretty much eat my skin up because you have to wear it and as you can tell by my stomach i had kids um stretch marks i have something that's kind of working we'll see how far it's gonna go because i mean he couldn't do a lot because my stomach was like pretty much stretched out for my kids but i did want to show y'all a couple things like i said before um as of the process i know that miami has changed a lot let me zoom in 
Miami has like pretty much changed a lot you guys because they can only do three surgeries a day so I don't know how that is going to work all I can tell y'all is y'all have to be up on your paperwork you must like stay in contact be into these Instagram pages and these things on Facebook because if not like honestly I can tell you my experience but it might not be that and yeah they're cracking down they're cracking down because like it's a lot of things has happened um as for like i said before my recovery i went there on my own um i had a nurse for one day y'all one day and that was it and i was up on my own i'm glad that you know mentally i was able to do it i went down there by myself nobody else um so so far like has my results like i'm satisfied but of course i want my i want to go and get uh, some tweaks done because you know in miami they just give you like the drive-through service but at the same time like you get what you pay for and honestly i need you know to me i want to lose some more weight um because my stomach i feel like it could go in some more but i'm satisfied i can wear whatever i want to wear right now and um i'll be okay with this excuse me guys so i wanted to get into what i wear because fajas for me they work but i got thighs y'all and my thighs be squeezing squealing everything and i just be like mm -mm. so this is the faja that i wear this faja right here it has six hooks and sorry y'all let me get i should have my stuff in order huh it's all right so the brand is up lady i do not recommend amazon anything like that um yeah i like this one better because i'm able to get in and out and y'all none of the hooks came out that's one thing that i will tell y'all wearing these fajas the hooks eventually going to come out but when you to me if you were the six like it works better it stays in um my waist trainer this is my waist trainer this is a large I need to get a medium I said I was gonna get a medium so I pretty much wear this waist trainer and what is this I went to this is a waist trainer too but it's a medium so I pretty much put this waist trainer around this waist trainer and it pretty much sucks me in guys it sucks me in has me all together now one thing i can say about recovery that i've been going through right now is internal itching y'all so I, my insides my muscles like it's pretty much like healing and it's flat but y'all when i tell you i be itching like oh it's like you can't even scratch because it's not your skin it's like internal so one thing i would recommend is benadryl still take benadryl here and there because for me like child who like I can't even get to it. It's, it's it's hard to explain. And um another thing, y'all, this is the cream that I told you first. If you got stretch marks, ladies, I don't care what nobody say, this do work. When I was pregnant for my pregnancies, it did not work for me. But this right here, it does work. Cause it got collagen, argana oil, shea butter, and y'all, when I tell you I've been using it ever since I've been going through recovery, that's been really helping me. So I would definitely recommend that. And then also some type of moisture. I told y'all about Palmer's. Like this is the same stuff that I told y'all before that it's going to work. Go check out my other previous tummy tuck videos. I got like a one month update. And um, I'll put it in another vlog or something like that. And this is the key. Right here. Scar away. Y'all see that scar away. So scar away is basically to make sure like your scar is smooth. It doesn't keloid or anything like that. For me, uh, when I had my breast done, when uh or when I had lipo, one of them, I did keloid over here. But let me show y'all. Like right here is smooth and it's so smooth. You just gotta keep using this stuff. You really have to keep using it and my scar on my tummy tuck like it's pretty much blending in with my skin it's blending in with my skin and the main thing i would tell y'all is moisturize 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 um because when you have your faja on or your waist trainer on all day it's like 
you're going to be pretty much sucked in it all day so you have to moisturize your skin and you might as well so i pretty much put mine on like when i get out the shower i took i went to the gym today when i came out to the gym i tried to like two times a day and sometimes i will flip my <laughs> waist trainer up to get it in there because you have to because that's what's helping me you know not to itch on my skin but if i itch internally i use benadryl but um, what I do is to make sure, you know, my skin is taking that moisture and it's just shrinking. I go to the gym four days a week. I go to the gym four days a week. And I'm going to just be honest, y'all. With my diet, it's what, what I eat, it's not the best. It's not the best. I could do better. However, one thing I can say when I got on the scale, my weight is still the same weight before surgery. Now, I did put on some weight, but I really go to the gym four days a week and um that was really helped me cardio um at first when i started going back to the gym when i had my surgery i was pretty much just walking just a little bit because i didn't want to pull or do anything too much but now i'm able to like lift weights leg press do a whole bunch more and when i say my weight before surgery that's the weight i lost to i lost to make sure that i was within you know my guideline um and then after that, I did had gained some weight, but eventually I lost it. So I'm pretty much plateau, but I do want to lose some weight. My birthday's coming up in November, so I want to do like a crazy nice body sh like photo shoot showing my body or something like that. But um, yeah, so other than that, you guys, um, someone did ask me about the pre-op portion. My pre-op for me, I had all my paperwork in order so i wasn't a, i wasn't smoking I, I i'm not a smoker don't drink or anything like that but one thing i can tell y'all is that the main thing that's going to help you with your recovery is you're going to have to be with fluids you're going to have to be drinking you know pineapples and water body armor all that stuff is going to help you and also y'all your mindset like be able to like if you do have kids like me y'all take it day by day like don't try to do too much because you don't want to put stress on yourself you don't want to be overthinking but when i tell y'all like i've had surgery three times this was the one that kind of like whoa you know like whoa wait a minute like um i had surgery but at the same time it made me feel like um I need to take it easy basically I need to take it easy and I'm trying to find some of your questions because a lot of people had questions about you know um, certain things um, so if y'all think of anything but I'm pretty sure like somebody already asked it so it's in the comments so like don't hesitate to like read the comments and see what everybody else said or if they have an upcoming surgery and you guys you know I like to stay connected like I, I want to be connected to you know your recovery like what like if you come across any issues now I'm not no coordinator but you know uh, I think one girl went down there. Oh, and another thing I told somebody about the Publix, about your prescriptions. Yeah, I did. I told somebody about the prescriptions and I didn't spend a lot of money. I stayed in Airbnb. My prescriptions was less than $10. So I was good. So you all, you're like, you can really go down there and stay within your means and go ahead and like take care of your surgery. But when I say like, you can like, you can do it without not knowing but having a little bit of information because sometimes they will fool you and how these recovery houses i don't know but um and a lot of people tell me i'm an inspiration thank y'all for that because i don't really say not saying i don't think highly of myself but when i think i can say doing it alone and doing something like this y'all it is a process so you know you can do it you know I've, i this is all for the women out there that let their body wear and tear y'all it's a process take it day by day i'm going through the process i'm not perfect but um it is if it's something that you want to do you can do it for yourself you know or whatever your reason is like it's totally fine so um uh, somebody already told me like i made it seem easy i must say on a scale of one to ten it was like a seven it wasn't the easiest but you know i made every day like i got through it so um 
and somebody asked about a nurse and also i just want to throw that in there you guys i haven't had i had one massage one and i and i'm going to get back into it starting next month i have to get my massages because i could do laser lipo or something like that where it sweats the way so i can do that i just haven't because it ain't been a need for it but i'm pretty sure if i start doing it it's gonna definitely make it better um what else so somebody asked so would you recommend dr stefan for a tummy tuck i see mixed reviews only thing i could tell y'all about my doctor just like i was just talking to somebody about <laughs> kendra's hair boutique what is their reviews i see mixed reviews only thing i can tell y'all is to you gotta take a chance that's either you do or you don't like for me i did too so i had an okay experience i didn't get rescheduled i didn't have to go through none of that type of stuff like i literally went on pre-op paid my stuff and went there the next morning had my surgery so you know it's you know it's iffy because you know you want somebody to they can only tell you their experience and i can't tell you anything different but one thing i can say i don't really know how they operate down there now like on the three surgeries a day and if you don't know what i'm talking about three surgeries a day there's some, some type of emergency um whatever they can only operate on three people a day and honestly i feel like that's a lie because them surgery centers they're gonna be operating more that's money for them so uh what else and the faha that faha that's gonna be the key for you guys um but yeah i i mean other than that you guys the only thing i could say is take it day by day and you know you'll be able to you'll be able to do it um somebody tell me i look amazing i'm trying y'all i'm trying and what i weighed before so i weighed like maybe right at 220 no like 220 something and right before i had surgery i was like at 2 208 211 or something so really i was within my bmi because i'm five five so you guys and, uh, and another thing people always ask like how can you lose weight how can you let me tell you something when i had when i went to my first time having my surgery for my bbl y'all i was so like i was crash dying when i tell you i was not finna put no type of carbs no nothing i shed that weight so if y'all really are coming across where your surgery is about to come up and you need to still lose weight the only thing i could tell y'all is fasting 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 works um it does eat one time a day now i'm on a one time a day but i'm not fasting or whatever like that but you can do it y'all i'm telling you you can do it and when you get there hell when i went and had my bbl they didn't even put me on the goddamn schedule when i had my bbl and like those surgery centers y'all they like i don't know but um they didn't put me on a schedule and I was like, damn, I lost all this weight. I was expecting for them to do this and that. Mm -mm. They didn't put me on the schedule. And I was like, well, damn. But at the same time, it helped me more because that way I wasn't overweight just in case they did it on the day of. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, you guys, I'm pretty much going to close out the vlog here on this Tummy Tuck three-month update. I hope you guys like it. You guys, I'm on a roll to 1K. Only thing I ask y'all for is to please just subscribe to a girl subscribe i'm just trying to get to 1k and once i get to 1k i'm just trying to be on 2k and i'm just trying to build my content build my platform like i do not mind returning the favor to anyone but i'm really you know i'm in a place in my life you guys i'm 32 and i'm a mom of three and this is something i'm passionate about that i really want to do i want to continue to do i want to be able to have friends out there so when i do be traveling I, you know we could be meeting up and stuff so yeah you guys please subscribe to my channel check me out on my instagram at miss queen underscore d i have a tiktok y'all but tiktok don't be messing with me so you can go over there if you want to but it's really not the best and yeah go check out some of my videos day in the life as a mom of three um my surgery vlogs weekend vlogs i do a lot of weekend vlogs because i don't have a lot going on in the week but you guys check me out subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye